Hello, friends. We now invite you to join us for the Animation Academy. Please welcome your sketch artist, Michael Montgomery. when the hair art was the same color and I was a Disney animator and I started on uh, my very first film was Hercules and then I moved on to Mulan, Lilo and Stitch, Brother Bear, John Henry, the animated short, if anyone's ever seen that. Um, and then we did, oh, just a whole bunch of stuff. But why I'm here, this is my last day this week, so thank you for joining here. Oh, it's very nice of you. But um, we are going, I've, I've been making uh, sets, so Today at this 12.30 show, I'm going to draw one character, and then at the 1.30 show, I'm going to draw like their best friend or their buddy, so it's kind of set. So I hope to see you back here. Um, the character I've chosen today comes from what I think is a, what we, I guess we call it, a cult favorite. We're going to go back to Emperor's New Groove. Yeah. Funny film. I mean, so uh, there's a little bit of a drama backstory about how it was once called Kingdom in the Sun, and then like halfway through production they said, hey, we're going to make it look like this film, and we're going to do this. And so as animators, every week we would sit in uh, something called dailies, and we would watch these clips. And I was on the second unit. California made the main unit, Florida was the second unit, and we're just watching these clips with no sound. And like when Cusco comes out, and he's got his little markers along, and he's like, oh. and he breaks the fourth wall. We're just howling. So I hope today we bring some of that humor and some of that joy. Welcome to the Epcot International Festival of the Arts. Also, happy birthday, Walt Disney World Resort. It's 50, big five zero. So let's get started, shall we? All right. I have the same sheet of paper that you have, and I have a pencil. You have a pencil. And <laughs> Cusco, it's a little bit tougher than, like, say, Mickey Mouse because he's a human, right? Oh, by the way, we're doing Cusco human. Just clarify that. Um, so you're looking at your page here, and he's got a big helmet, and he's got a long, pointy chin. He's a really thin character. So when you look at your page, imagine that this guy's got a hat and everything. So we're going to start in the middle, but we're not going to draw a very large sphere. We're going to draw something about the size of a golf ball. And I want you to draw really lightly because... On a character like Cusco, I'm going to jump around a lot. It's not going to be like, oh, here I'm going to draw the ear, and here I'm going to draw the nose. We're going to kind of jump all over him because his proportions rely so heavily on one another. All right, so I got at the golf ball. I'm going to draw a line through the golf ball. There we go. Now, has he ever seen an artist do this? And you're wondering, what is that guy doing, or girl, or person, doing this, right? Okay, so what we're doing is we're measuring. So I'm going to take the distance of my golf ball, I'm going to come down, I'm going to make a little mark, just about right there, and then I'm going to come up just a little bit, right about there, okay? This is the bottom of his chin, and then I'm going to lightly make a rounded V that kind of flows into the golf ball, and there we go. All right, perfect. All right, now I'm going to come up here to about halfway on the golf ball, and I'm going to come down to halfway of that, and I draw a line that comes across like that. There we go. All right, so we got our base structure. I like to start with the nose because the nose, kind of everything, kind of like the nose is in the middle, and then we kind of work our way out. 
So I'm going to come about halfway down, make a little mark. I make a lot of little marks. That's how I like to draw. Like I'm always kind of putting a point on the page, and then I'm aiming for that point when I go to places. So I'm going to put a little dot there, and then I'm going to make a shallow V, as in Victor. A little shallow little V there. Okay. Now I'm going to come up. I'm going to take two very light straight lines. I'm going to come straight up and straight down. The straight down, when we get past his chin line, becomes his neck. This goes real skinny. All right. So we got bottom of his nose, neck, head. Next, we're going to shape in his nose. And his nose does not, we're not going to start here. We're going to come up just a little bit. We want, sometimes Disney characters, their lines don't always connect to other things. They, they're making like a shadow or a shape. So we're going to start just a little bit above. And then we're going to make a curve towards that line. And we're going we're gonna to stop short of connecting right there. And then we're going to curve the other direction and come up like that. So we're going to make this kind of, so it's got a pretty decent sized nose when we turn these profiles in. So we got that shape. Okay. How are we looking on screen? Okay. There we go. I might draw a little darker, but I want you to continue to draw lighter so you guys can see it. Okay, now to finish off his nose a little bit, over on this left side, I'm going to make the letter C. The letter C. And then over on the right side, I'm going to make another curve that kind of comes up like this. So, it doesn't always have to be symmetrical. Like when you're drawing, uh, I hope that you would like want to practice and draw and stuff. Our faces are asymmetrical. Here, our eyes are over here. I think I've got an eye over there or something like that. So don't worry about it being like perfectly symmetrical because nothing is. All right. Now that I got the nose in, I'm going to come over here and about you know close to this soft line that I made. I'm going to make a circle. Yep. There we go. And then. On the other side, I'm going to make a slightly bigger circle. Because Cusco's face, when we're done, is going to have a slight three-quarter turn. And his eyes tell a lot about what he's thinking. All right. So, here we go. I'm going to add his eye. Uh, he's got, uh, he's always kind of like sneering. He's like, mm, I know more than you. Mm. So... We're going to take this and about halfway, we're going to make another one of those V shapes, but upside down, kind of like the roof of a house, real shallow though. And then on this side, I'm going to make what I, I, I love S curves. If you have, like, so if you've been here before, so an S curve is not this. We're not going to do this. We're going to do like nice and, nice and elegant, a little skinny S. But this one's going to be horizontal. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to go down. Go. Something like that. Okay, cool. So, next I want to get his eyebrows in. Not his eyeballs, his eyebrows. Okay, so here just above his eye, but don't touch, right above his eye, we want to make kind of a U shape, just not a big U, like a nice little gentle curve like that. And then come up and then cut down to just about three quarters way down his eye there. And then we're going to thicken that up. It's thin on this side and then it gets thicker over here. And then take that flow. Take that flow of that eyebrow. Come on up and then we're going to meet the other side. It's kind of cocking. Look. You got one eyebrow up. So we're going to do that. Character intermediates usually have a mirror at their desk and they'll look at themselves in the mirror and they'll look Lines off faces and stuff so they can get the expression that they want right. All right. So there we go. I got that up there. Now I'm just kind of breaking in basic shapes. As we clean this up a little bit later, we will uh, we'll uh, be able to. Uh, there we go. I had to look at my clock. Uh, we'll thicken these up and take care of that. All right, let's go down to his eyes now. Now let's get his eyes in. So over here on his left eye, or technically his right eye, but the left side of the page, we're gonna do a half circle. And then 
we're going to do another half circle for his other eye over here. So real kind of lazy. Right there. There we go. Okay. Now let's get that, that, <laughs> that awesome smile that is in here. So we're going to come straight down from the middle of the eyeball here. We're going to make a little dot just above the nose, uh, like right there. Just about there. And then we're going to come down the other side and give him a little thing. So here's my target, right? Here's my target. But down here, just below his nose, we're going to draw just the most craftiest little smile. Just this little smile. But then, when you get close to that dot, you want to loop and make another S curve that kind of makes this shape, just like that. And then on this side, though, you just want to come and curve right up into it. Now, this is a little detail that makes Cusco's mouth different than others. If you draw most characters, you see this kind of dimple, you know, where it's got, it goes across. But Cusco's goes up and only goes back. So when you get to that tip, you just go back a little bit, like that. And that helps kind of give him his, like, I know more than you face. Alrighty. Okay, so, and then I added this line in here for his chin, his little chin line there, so. All right. How we doing? Awesome, I love to hear it. Okay, so let's get his ears in. So over here, we're gonna go just about three quarters of the way up on his uh, eyeball. And his ears are pretty simple. They're just your kind of typical coffee mug handle ear. And then on the top, just add a little thickness. Do that. And then on the other side, we're gonna block it in. All right, just like that. The coffee handle ear. All right, let's let's work on his face just a little bit more. On this side, which I guess would be your right hand side, on this side, we're gonna come in just a little bit, and we're gonna make a nice gentle curve, and then we're gonna round that curve with it like there. Here's an S curve again. We're gonna round that into his jawline. There you go, just like that. Then, so stop stop about at the uh, top of the eyebrow and then change direction and start following that ball again, that original sphere. There you go. So essentially, we have, at this point, Cusco. Now we can start working on some of the details that really bring out his character. So the first thing we're gonna do is go back to his eyes. So right now you've drawn round, round circle for his eyes and real lightly, but really his eyes are kind of like rounded squares. So we're going to come up and we're going to make this side of the square and then we're going to angle down with a little bit of a curve and we're going to come down here. That's the top of the square. Then we're not going to touch the, uh, the eyelash. We're just going to stop just shy of it. Then on the bottom here, I'm going to come down and this is the other side of the square and then I'm going to stop just about right there. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to continue that curve and make the bottom of the square. So you tilt your head, you kind of see the square, but then you kind of round your corners a little bit and it gives them some softness. Then on the other side, kind of repeat the same thing, but in a smaller scale. I'm going to come up, kind of come over here, do that angle. Start on this side, come down, that angle make the bottom of the square, and that angle. There we go. So now I got Cusco's eyes. I'm gonna fill in Cusco's eyes, so they're just defined a little bit more. There we go, there we go. Cool, all right. Next thing is from his eyebrow to the top of his head, real close to the eyebrow, but not touching it, we're going to make curve like this, and this is the bottom of his helmet, right there. And then, just make a rainbow, just nice half dome shape, connects one side to the other. There you go. Yeah. 
So for his hair, all of his hair is tucked behind him. He's, he's done this over and over again. All right. So over here, where his ear is connecting to his uh, to his face, we're going to come down just a little bit lower, and we're going to make kind of an angle, and then stop halfway. Real, sh almost, it's like almost a straight line, but it's just got a little bit of an angle to it. We're going to stop halfway, then we're going to angle a little bit more, and so you kind of made. You know, this kind of, again, shallow roof. So if you think about him as a visual language, you know, I've made this shape. I made this shape here, or this line here, this V shape. I started the nose that way. I started the eyes that way. And then we try to carry those shapes through the characters, and that's what makes them feel original and stuff like that. So, all right, now the back of his hair just comes right off of that dome. Is that dome right, right off of that? And before I finish, the back side of his hair, I want to give him his earrings. Cusco wears these really big discs. And they're just simple, narrow ovals. That's all they are. And they go down to his neck. And now this one sits behind his face. Think about perspective. Sits behind his cheekbone. Starts at the same place, goes the same distance, but kind of tucks in behind him. So once you get that in, and then I'm going to give him his neck, his uh, his collar, which is just kind of a you know, like a staple, draw like a staple right there, just wider than the neck though, so the neck can fit inside. And right, then we'll just give him some shoulders. And what that allows me to do is, if you come straight off of his uh, of the neck. That, the staple that we just made. And then you come down from the ear, right about here, outside of the uh, earring. Can you tell I'm having fun? I just love drawing. Just up here. All right. Now that's his hair. All right. Who'd like to take a break and meditate for a second? All right. Here's, here's, here's a meditation for an artist. I'm going to fill in his hair. Uh, I don't have to think, I just have to color inside the lines. This is your moment of zen. So notice how I changed my hand to the side of my pencil. It gives me a wider stroke, it's nice and even. I'm not sitting here with my pencil like I'm doing a math problem and grinding away. I'm just enjoying the milder weather that we're having today versus the last three days. If anybody who's come out those last three days, thank you. As you can see, I'm not wearing a coat. There we go. Because I'm Floridian now, and it could be 71 degrees, and that's freezing. All right, so I've made his hair, and now it's filling his eyebrows. There we go. All right, the last thing I'm going to do is uh, make the, the hair that comes out of the top of his, uh, the bottom of his helmet, the top of his head. And this is two angled triangles, really long and skinny. Just kind of come out like that, just like that. So once you do that, now we do his, his helmet. So come out, think about this is the middle of his forehead. Come out and draw a straight line. In some of my previous classes, I said, you'll be hard pressed to find a straight line on a Disney character. Well, that's true on their form, but if they wear a prop, like a hat, sometimes there will be a need for a ruler. Speaking of a ruler, um, one of the things that um, I did on Emperor's New Groove, um, I was a special effects animator. So what that means is, if it did not have eyeballs, I drew it. So we did rain, smoke, effects, lava, surfing, all that stuff. In this movie, I did vials. Lots of tiny vials. So if you think about the end of the movie, when Pacha and Cusco are chasing the vial from Cat Isma, and it's bouncing around all over, and they're like trying to get the, I did those little vials. Just bouncing everywhere. We would try to kind of, I don't want to say cheat, but be judicious with our time and we would use the Xerox machine. Didn't look right. We had to go back and tear all that out and draw little vials. 
And then fun, there was water in that vial, so it squashed inside. Just real fun. All right. Well, I think we're ready to go to Cusco Topia. This is Cusco, and I am Michael Montgomery. Now, how'd we do? This is the part where I get to watch you guys see how you're doing, and then I get to send pictures to my mom so she believes that art school was worth it, and it was. It was totally worth it. All right, what have we got here? Got it? See it? Lovely? Wow. I don't think so. Nice. Oh, nice helmet. Nice helmet. Very nice. Very nice. Remember ZZ Top in the front of the audience. <laughs> it's my buddy Rusty, everybody. All right, so very nice, very nice. What we got over here? Awesome, awesome. I like how everybody works small. They wanted to, they wanted to make sure they fit the whole thing on the page. That's great. I'm hungry too. I want pizza. I, just, I love it. I think that's amazing. Very nice. Awesome. Okay, so now it's time for selfie. Don't worry. I'm actually in focus. You're all blur. There we go. Got it. Hey everybody, thank you very much. Now at 1.30, I'll be back here and I'm gonna make Llama Cusco. So yeah, it's a little set there. All right, thank you for coming to the Epcot International Festival of the Arts. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy 50th birthday, Disney, and I'll see you later. Friends, thank you for joining us for this presentation of the Animation Academy. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day here at the Epcot International Festival of the Arts.